let's look at this set six horses entered in a race their names are ajay bijay chapal dhananjay fankar and gatima these are the names of the horses the starting gates in a row are numbered consecutively from 1 to 7 seven jockeys numbered 1 to 7 are eligible to ride in the race every jockey's number corresponds to the number of his starting gate if he is assigned a horse okay so this gives me a few points first gate gates are numbered 1 to 7 jockeys are numbered 1 to 7 and they are corresponding numbers as in from gate number 1 jockey number 1 would come from gate number 2 jockey number 2 would come from gate number 3 jockey number 3 would come and so on additionally every jockey number corresponds to the number of his starting gate if he is assigned a horse which means there is there may be a case where a jockey is not assigned a horse and this also becomes clearer when you look at this there were only six horses but there were seven jockeys so one person may uh, will most likely not get a horse let's read further exactly one jockey will not be assigned a horse and the starting gate corresponding to that jockey will remain vacant for the race this is a very interesting line as in essentially one jockey despite being a jockey and being eligible to race because he has not been allocated a horse he will not be a part of the race altogether okay so what i'm doing is i'm going ahead and writing down gate numbers one two three four five six and seven and then the name of the horse the initial of the name of the horse that i will write here this is gate number this is horse number okay first statement either ajay or chapal must be ridden by jockey one so jockey one gate one one must be with ajay or chapal this is one condition okay second fun car must be ridden by either jockey four or jockey five so five or four must be fun car okay again not a positive piece of information so i cannot record it entirely here BJ and Fankar must have at least one horse between them, separating the two of them in the starting gate. Pay attention. This is a very, very critical line. BJ and Fankar must have at least one horse between them, separating the two of them in the starting gate. They are not saying their starting gate should differ by at least one. They are saying they must be separated by at least one horse. So the cases or the wrong case that you might end up making is Let's say Bijay is here. This is the vacant spot. And sorry, not Bijay at 5. Fankar I know has to be at 5 or 4. So let's say Fankar is here. Nobody is at slot 6. And Bijay is at slot 7. This is an unacceptable situation. Because the condition was they must have at least uh, one horse between them. This is one gate between them, not one horse. Okay. This is a slight bit of uh, manipulation that is needed here. Uh, apart from that, also understandable, no problem at all. There has to be at least one horse between Vijay and Fankar. Next, Chapal must run from the starting gate position with a number lower than the starting gate position from which Gatiman runs. Okay, so Chapal's number has to be lower than Gatiman's number. This is also known. Now, if you will notice, the Clues available to us, the number of clues available to us are very little for opening up this set. But the fun thing, if you look at the sub parts, you will get a greater idea. The first four questions start off with the word if, which means multiple cases will get created. And the last question is in fact asking how many total arrangements are possible. How many total arrangements are possible? And uh, Given that it is asking how many total arrangements are possible, of course, I will edit the question to include how many total arrangements are possible of starting spots. Starting spots with uh, uh, starting spots of horses and gates. With this question, how many total arrangements are possible? We are not looking at total arrangements possible of how people are finishing the race. We are looking at total arrangements possible of starting spots of horses and gates. Okay. Now, given that everything is in terms of if, don't start making cases. For this, maybe, you will have to make all possible exhaustive number of cases and see. But until the time we reach question number five, 
no such requirement exists let's go through every individual question keeping in mind all these conditions first if in the race jockeys finish in the order 6 5 4 3 2 1 6 being the first and 1 being the last so this person has come first and 1 being the last okay this person has come last it also means that there was no horse on slot 7 on gate number 7 there was no horse because these are the 6 slots from which horses have run and if Bijay is the horse that wins the race, slot six wala horse is one, and Bijay is the horse that wins the race. So Bijay has to be here. I know that Funkar and Bijay must have at least one horse between them. So Funkar cannot be at five. Funkar has to be here. Funkar has to be here. Okay. And these are the only two things I can be absolutely certain of. Then which of the following horses? Could not have been among the top three finishers. See, Funkar at fourth is guaranteed. At sixth, Vijay is guaranteed. The only slot left open for somebody to potentially usurp is slot five. Can I have Dhananjay at slot five? Just checking. Dhananjay at slot five. Gatiman here. And uh, Chapal here. And Ajay here. Yes, this is perfectly all right. Dhananjay can come at slot five. So he can be among the top three finishers. So this is not the answer. How about Chapal at slot five? If Chapal is at slot five, hopefully can you see, if Chapal is at slot five, we will have this problem. Chapal's uh, gate number had to be lower than that of Gatiman. But if Chapal is at the highest available gate number, Chapal is at the highest available gate number, Gatiman will no longer have a slot. So most likely this is the answer. But for peace of mind, we'll go ahead and check other options as well. Funkar being at slot 5 is not possible. But Funkar being among the top 3 finishers is, is a certainty. Funkar has to be at slot 4. How about Gatiman? Gatiman is here. Chapal is here. Dhananjay is here. And Ajay is here. And this is it. We are done. We have got... Uh, this is also an acceptable case. So... He can be among the top three. He is among the top three. The only person who cannot be among the top three is option B, Chapel, And that has to be the answer. Okay. Now also, because we are moving on to the next question and it was this particular case we were solving for the first one. I'm getting rid of all the working. Let's see. Next. If jockey four is not assigned to any horse. So this is blank. If this is blank, I know. Uh, fun car must be at five or four. So, fun car is guaranteed to be here. Okay. Then, which of the following could be a possible pair? Ajay at jockey four. Not possible because fun car is at jockey four. Absolutely not possible. BJ at jockey six. BJ here. Can you see this is impossible according to the correct interpre interpretation of point three? BJ and fun car must have at least one horse between them. The fact that five is empty means that fun car and BJ. Don't have any horse between them. So this is impossible. How about Gatiman at jockey 6? Okay. Gatiman here. And then let's say Chapal here, Dhananjay here, Ajay here, Vijay here. This is an acceptable case. This is possible. And the last is Chapal at jockey 7. Chapal at jockey 7, you can straight away rule out because of statement 4. Chapal's number had to be lower than that of Gatiman and 7 is the highest number available. Chapal at 7 will definitely not work. So, option 4 is also incorrect. Impossible to be obtained. And therefore, the answer to the second question is option C. Let's look at question number 3. If Dhananjay is unable to run the race and no replacement horse is found. Okay. And if the jockeys finish the race, see Dhananjay is unable to run. Previously, there were seven jockeys, six horses. And now one of the horses is taken ill. So now there are only five horses. There are only five horses. Dhananjay, if Dhananjay is unable to run the race and no replacement horse is found. And if the jockeys that finish the race from first to last is in the order. One, two, four, six and seven. Which means there is no horse at three. There is no horse at five. If there is no horse at 3, there is no horse at 5. Fun car has to be on slot 4. Fun car has to be on slot 4. Now, okay. 
the person who is finishing last in the race is Lord this fellow, seventh person. Okay. I am just checking. Uh, this can be Ajay. If this is Ajay, Vijay can't come here. Vijay can't come here. Vijay has to come here. So Gatiman here and Chapal here. Possible. This is one acceptable case. How about Chapal here? Fankar here is guaranteed. There is nobody at 3. There is nobody at 5. Vijay has to be here. I can go Gatiban here or Ajay here, Ajay here or Gatiman here. These three cases exist in total. This is for horse and gate. These three cases exist. Then which of the following must have finished the race in the last position? Has to be Bijay's horse, has to be the horse Bijay. Option B would work. These are the two possibilities that come up. Okay. Let me get rid of all this all over again. Now, if Chapel runs from starting gate 5 and starting gate 6 is vacant, Chapel runs from starting gate 5 and starting gate 6 is vacant. This is vacant. So, first thing, this has to be Fankar and this has to be Ajay. And because Gatiman's number is higher than that of Gatiman's number is higher uh, than that of Chapel. Gatiman has to be here. If Gatiman is here, Bijay has to be here because at least one horse in between them. So Dhananjay has to be here. A precise order has been generated based off the condition mentioned here. If Chapel runs from gate 5 and the starting gate 6 is vacant, which of the following pair is correct? Gatiman from gate 2 is wrong. Ajay from gate 2 is wrong. Fankar from gate 3 is wrong. Dhananjay from gate 3 is correct. This is the only case possible. And the first four subparts of this set are done. And the first four subparts are fairly easy to pull off as well. Fairly easy to pull off. Now, now, see how you have to go about solving this or checking this for the last question. This is the most painful question. This is the most painful question out of the lot. So let's go ahead and see how it can be done. First thing I'm doing is I'm placing no, A here, A here, and fun car here. And fun car here. Now, because fun car and Vijay, fun car and Vijay need to have at least one horse between them. Vijay can possibly be here, but it would mean this slot is definitely occupied. I can also have another case where Ajay is here, fun car is here, and then this slot is occupied, and Vijay is here. And I can also have one case where Ajay is here, Fankar is here, and Bijay is here. I don't mind. I don't care which of these two slots is occupied. At least one of them will definitely be occupied. So no problem at all. So now, now let's start working. This slot is definitely occupied. So first, out of these three, out of these three slots, I have to first identify which is the empty slot. That can be done in three C. Two, the two occupied slots I've selected instead of the empty slots. Two occupied slots I've selected. Now I have the three slots available. Now I have the three slots available in which Dhananjay and Gatiman and Chapal have to come. Within these three slots, within these three slots, these three people can rearrange themselves in three factorial ways. Gatiman, Dhananjay and uh, Chapal can rearrange themselves in three factorial ways. But because Chapal's number has to be lower than that of lower than that of Gatiman's, you would have to half this up. See how that works. Dhananjay, Chapal, Gatiman. Dhananjay, Gatiman, Chapal. Chapal, Dhananjay, Gatiman. Chapal, Gatiman, Dhananjay. Gatiman, Chapal, Dhananjay. Gatiman, Dhananjay, Chapal. Look at this. This is an unacceptable case where Gatiman's number is lower than that of Chapel. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. And this is unacceptable. In these three cases, it is acceptable. Half the cases, it is acceptable. You can also perhaps break this down as first select the two spots that will be occupied out of the three. Then from the three spots that you have identified and the three people that you've identified, select the two spots where Chapel where uh, 
these two would come chappal and gatiman would come and then the last part whatever is left there dhananjay would come we have only done it for this case right we have only done it for this case but this serves as a beautiful use case this serves as a beautiful use case for the second version as well second version as well you have this lot empty you have this lot empty you have this lot empty out of these three first you have to identify which two are being used that can be done in 3c2 ways then from these uh, three slots where people are definitely there you select two slots where ch uh, chapel and gatiman would come that can be done in 3c2 ways so first two case first two versions are taken care of now for the last version there are four slots available there are four slots first you select out of these four which three will be occupied now out of those four we select which three will be occupied they are done there now for those from those three slots select two where chapel and gatiman are coming that can be done in 3c2 ways so for fun car at 4 and a at 1 for fun car at 4 and a at 1 these are the possibilities 3c2 is 3 3c2 is 3 so this gives me 9 this gives me 9 this gives me 12 9 plus 9 plus 12 we have found 30 cases in the first iteration where a is at 1 and fun car is at 4 okay let us now go to the second iteration if fun car is at 5 if fun car is at 5 i can have vijay here without any qualms if fun car is at 5 i can have vijay here but i have to then ensure that this plot is occupied fun car can also be here but i have to ensure this slot is occupied for bj to be at 7 i can do this i can do this now if you look at it if you look at it not much has changed from the last iteration for the first case for the first case from these four slots you first identify you first identify which of these three four which of which three of these four slots will be occupied that can be done in 4c3 ways then you identify the two slots where chapel and gatiman are coming and your work is done for the first case for the second case you have these three slots out of these three two will be occupied out of these three two will be occupied so you do that in 3c2 into 3c2 first you identify the two slots which will be occupied out of these three circles and then from within them you identify two slots on which chapel and gatiman are coming whatever is the third slot left dhananjay would come there similarly for the third case you will have this 3c2 into 3c2 so it turns into 4 into 3 this is again 12 this is again 9 this is again 9 so a at 1 and f at 5 gives me another 30 cases and this is absolutely wonderful news for us because now now what we have done is we have ensured all the cases with a at 1 and f at whatever exhaustive number of cases are taken care of so now the next version has to be the next versions our life becomes slightly simpler because see what would happen yeah. slot 1 had to be occupied by a or c no so this time let me put c here if i put c here if i put c here uh, now for wherever b is coming for wherever b is coming b can come here without any qualms b can come here but this has to be occupied b can come here but this has to be occupied c here and c here now see because c is at the lowest possible number that extra step we had to take care of where we were trying to identify which is the uh, that uh, gatiman is having a higher number than chapal that is already taken care of so all i have to do is out of these four slots out of these four slots i have to identify which three are occupied and then i have three slots three people they can be rearranged in three factorial ways done here this slot is definitely occupied so out of the remaining three slots which two are occupied 3c2 into 3 factorial and finally here also 3c2 into 3 factorial 
So I get 4 plus 3 plus 3, 10 into 3 factorial or all together I will get 60 cases. I will get 60 cases. So with C at 1 and F at 5, we get 60 cases. Finally, the only case left is C at 1 and F at 4. And hopefully with our experience, with our solving of the earlier situation, you would know it will not change a lot. All it would do is this. I will erase all everything because I have to represent it all over again. Let's say F is here, F is here, F is here. B coming here, no problem. B coming here or B coming here. This lot has to be occupied. This lot has to be occupied. Now see, look at the first case. Look at the first case. There are four empty slots. Four empty slots. You identify which four are being used by Ajay, Dhananjay and Gatiman. Four C3. And then whichever three slots are identified, that, that into three factorial. For the second case, this slot, this slot and this slot. Out of these three, you identify which two are being used. That into three factorial. For the last one, we've got this slot, this slot, and this slot out of these three, which ones are being occupied, 3C2 into 3 factorial, you will again get 60 cases. So 60 cases from here, 60 cases from here, 60 cases from here. How many total arrangements are possible of the starting spots of the horses and gates? The total number of cases will be 180. And that is the entirety of this set. Now this last question, this last subpart is definitely very time consuming. This is where the decision making of Seeing that the first four questions don't take as much time, but the last question does take a lot of time. So in an exam situation, if you do decide to move on from this question, I will come back to it later if nothing else cracks. That is also perfectly all right. You know what is to be done, but you also know that it is going to take a lot of time. So that is all for this set. Mm -hmm.